everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie from BriannaLens.com and today what I would like to share with you is me making some beautiful pumpkins using a pattern from Jess Chestnut Junction. I will link her Etsy shop down below. Uh, her pattern looks a little bit different. She has a mouth on her pumpkins, mine don't. I really liked uh, the way that they looked like this, so this is how I kept them. I made a set of three, which is what she has in her pattern. I don't divulge anything. Um, about her pattern that takes away from you purchasing her pattern. Uh, so if you follow along today in today's video, basically I'm just sharing my process on making these really cute pumpkins. I absolutely adore how they came out. I think that they're rustic. I think they're fun. And what I really love about these pieces is that I can keep them out for my fall decor as well as for my Halloween decor. Um, these were a ton of fun to make. They kind of tick all the boxes for me. I got to paint. I got to do some prim um, tea, tea and coffee staining. I got to stitch. I got to use my sewing machine. I got to go pick up pieces from nature and put them in this. It was a ton of fun. Even my kids got to be involved in this. So that makes it really fun for me. And I like sitting them um, on this tray. I've got some acorns here. And so I'm just sitting them on this old vintage silver tray for right now. And um, I love them. I like that they have a range in their size. You can paint them any color that you want. You get to really kind of make it your own, which is really cool. I decided to go with the black, the orange, and the white because I really like that. And then I have them sitting next to some other stitchy pieces that I made last year. You can see a video on this uh, tea stained embroidered pumpkin. I have a video for this that I've made. I'll link that down below. And I have it, um, I also have this, just in case you saw this and you were wondering what's in here, this is a Teresa Kogut cross stitch pattern and it's stu uh, stuffed with sawdust. So, so if you like today's video, now is a great time to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I would love to know in the comments below if you've made chestnut junction patterns before as well. If you've made these pumpkins before as well, I would love to know. I'd love to hear from you. And also if you like today's video, I'd like to also know what else you'd like to see from me. So let's get started into the, today's project, which are these pumpkins. All right, so I have completely sewn up my muslin, um, what are these called? Pumpkins. I have sewn up my pumpkins and I just reread the instructions and the instructions actually didn't want me to fill it yet or sew it yet. I was supposed to do my coffee stain mixture with them flat and then bake them and then fill them and then paint them. I'm doing it out of order. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. If I remember correctly, this is how I did it with the um, bee skeps. So I think it should be fine. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to my kitchen and I'm going to um, I'm gonna do um, the coffee stain and I'm gonna bake them and then um, maybe today I'll even be able to paint them. But let's go do that. All right, now we're back into my kitchen. I made myself a pumpkin spice latte. Cheers. Yeah, that helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get working. Oh, that's 
pot. Okay, I have my tea mixture ready. I'm gonna have my tea mixture, my coffee and cinnamon mixture ready. As you can see, I've already started. I'm gonna continue going on until I have them completely stained and then I'll meet you back. They're gonna be so hilarious. Fiona likes the smell of this, my daughter. So anyway, so this is um, all done and I'm gonna continue on. All right, my daughter Fiona is going to do this one. She really wants to do one. So she's gonna stain this one. Keep going, just keep working. You're doing a good job, but you don't have to make it perfect. Get more stain mixture. And anyway, so she's gonna do this one. And my daughter Jules is probably gonna do one too because she can't be left out. She's four. Now we've got Jules. So there's mine, there's Fiona's. And now we've got Jules. She's doing to get some more mixture, babe. You're doing a great job. Yep, and then put it on. Good job. Fiona did a great job as well. Yep. That one was mine. Mm -hmm. Keep going, more mixture. More mixture, babe. Susie, dump your paintbrush mm -hmm. into the paint. Good job. Well, she did, she dumped it like, oh, she's doing <laughs> good. All right, we are 100% done with the tea stain. For one, oh my gosh, I keep saying tea stain, coffee stain. Usually I tea stain fabric and stuff, but my coffee and cinnamon stain. So this is going to go in the oven and then I will see you guys when it comes out. Now we are out of the oven. We're all dry. And these are the noses. Um, I'm doing these differently than what the pattern says too, but I figure why not? So, okay. I got my paint out and I didn't really think ahead of like what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm just kind of going off of what I have on hand and I don't have any more orange. And so I'm gonna have to use my nice paint, which is okay. So I'm gonna be using Spice Pumpkin for one of them. Um, I think I'm gonna do a yellow one. See how light this is, but this is golden straw. I might be doing golden straw or I'll do um, golden sunset by apple barrel and then i can't decide if i want to do a green pumpkin or not if i do a green pumpkin i'll be using um christmas green or i might be doing a maroon one which doesn't um really make sense but i might do i might do that or i might also just stay in color theme and then maybe just like do like a light mocha or something i can't i don't know i'm gonna do i'm gonna start here <laughs> and then i'm gonna be doing the noses all in darker colors so i have like soft black and one i've got antique maroon for one and then um again i'm gonna see where i end up for the last one so let's see how this goes So I decided to do like a light one, a orange one, and a black one, just like she did. I was gonna do green to keep it more fall, and then I thought, eh, I'd wanna be able to keep this out through Halloween and make it halloween -y too. And then for the noses, I decided to go a little bit darker, um, and I just kept the one orange to be a pop. So I'm really happy with this. Um, after these dry, then I'm going to uh, do the coffee stain again, and then these should be done as far as the paint process, and I'm really excited to see how these turn out. So I'm gonna let these dry, then I'll sand them, and then I will coffee stain them, bake them, and then we're ready for the next step.
I finally have finished the embroidery on it. I am undecided if I want to add the mouths. I think the mouths would add a lot of character to it, but at the same time, I also really like the blank expressions that they have without the mouths. So I'm, I'm undecided at this point. Um, but lastly, what the directions need me to do is I need to go find stems and then do the stem portion. And then these should be complete. And if I want to add the mouths later, I will. But for right now, I'm just kind of digging this really simple look. So I kind of like it. Um, so I'm going to go look for sticks and then I'm really going to be honest. I'm not looking forward to doing this part. You're supposed to cut a hole in the top and then add, insert the stick and then do a gathering stitch and secure it. And I'm really not looking forward to this step. Um, but it needs to be done, so let's do it. I found sticks, now I just, <coughs> excuse me, I found sticks and now I just need to make them about five inches and then we're gonna do the darn thing, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making these pumpkins. They were a blast and I'll see you guys in the next project in the next video. Bye.